Jehu Gordon was a shining light for Trinidad and Tobago in 2010. The talented teenager striking gold in the men's 400 meters hurdles at the World Junior Championships in Moncton, Canada in July. An overwhelming favorite for the title, Gordon did not disappoint, clocking 49.30 seconds to become the country's fifth World Juniors champion, following in the footsteps of Atto Bolden, Daryl Brown, Rennie Kwau and Rhonda Watkins. A king in waiting following his fourth place finish at the 2009 World Championships, Jehu ascended his throne in Mountain. I want to say thanks to everyone who has been behind me with from, from the start. And I give you much praise and thanks. Thanks for the support on the whole. You are the first um, English speaking Caribbean hurdler to win immense 400 hurdles at the World Juniors, just a Cuban that was way back in 86. How does it feel to, um, to carry the Caribbean flag in that way? Well, actually, seeing that Felix Sanchez was one of the best hurdlers that came out from the Caribbean, and it's really inspiring to see how much hurdlers from the Caribbean have been on the world stage, making it to the finals. You mostly see Europeans and, and Asians in the finals. And, it's really inspiring to everyone else to see that I can come out here and make it and they will also stick into my footstep. Gordon was not the only TNT athlete to climb the rush from a mountain. Jamal James, Xavier Cox, Marie Bomorian and Schumann also combined for bronze in the men's 4 by 100 meters relay in 39.72 seconds. Well, this one is for you Trinidad. This one is for you. I hope you're happy. Right? Nice. Wrap it and strap it. Wrap it and strap it. <laughs> there were also impressive performances from TNT in the 200s. Kai Selvan finished fourth in the women's final and Maureen was sixth in the men's championship race. But this is a run for the record by J. Hu of TNT. Back in April, Gordon dominated his rivals at the Carifta Games in the Cayman Islands capturing the boys and the 20 hurdles double, winning both finals in record time. For his efforts, Gordon received the Austin Sealy Trophy for the most outstanding athlete at Carifta 2010. It's Jehu Gordon of TNT, comes to the finish, 4976 across downstairs, with excellent second at 51.6. It's Jehu Gordon of TNT, a Carifta record, a gold medal. The last Georgia's final of the first games. Gordon up to a slow start in number six, going past his swift from Barbados. It's swift with the Jamaican chasing. Here comes Gordon. It's swift. Here comes Jehu Gordon. I just get past. Gordon, swift, and the Jamaican. It's Jehu Gordon who takes a double. 13 straight on the clock at trackside for Jehu Gordon after a struggling start. The record on the book, 13.42. And Gordon continues to amaze us. Trinidad and Tobago ended the meet with 12 gold medals, 16 silver and 12 bronze, for a grand total of 40, the country's best ever Carifta Games haul, surpassing the 37 medal total in the Turks and Caicos Islands in 2007. TNG finished second on the medal table behind Jamaica. Under-17 middle distance runner Mark London also earned double gold in the Caymans. There were titles too for Quincy Wilson, Elton Walcott, Keyshawn Walcott, Kanesha Span, Michelle Leahy, Shauna Downey, the girls under-20 sprint relay team of Shoshana Mason, Ai, Gabriella Kamabach, and Takeya Dumoy, and the boys under-17 4x400m combination of Marshall Sedano, Tion Lewis, Shaquille Glasgow, and Darwin Sandy. Trinidad and Tobago secured 12 gold medals at the Central American and Caribbean Junior Championships in the Dominican Republic. 
Team TNT also earned six silver medals and nine bronze for a total of 27. Through us, Quincy Wilson, Hezekiel Romeo, Hishon Walcott, Sharice Murray and Ashley Smith and jumper Elton Walcott were among the 10 individual gold medalists. On the track, J. Hugh Gordon, Mariba Moraine, Dominic Williams and Kinesha Span struck gold. In addition to the boys and the 24 by 400 meters and 4 by 100 meters teams. In June, Richard Torpedo Thompson repeated as Sajiko Track and Field Championship men's 100 meters gold medalist at the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Like Hazley Crawford at the 1976 yeah. Montreal Olympics, Thompson was drawn in lane one. And like Crawford, Thompson got home first the Louisiana-based sprinter stopping the clock at 10.01 seconds. Kasten Bledman finished second in 10.03, ahead of Emmanuel Callender and Mark Burns. Thompson completed the sprint double with a commanding victory in the 200 meters final. The Olympic 100 meters silver medalist clocked a championship record 20.37 seconds to beat NCAA half-lap champion Rondell Cirillo and World Championship 400 meters bronze medalist Rennie Kwau in the second and the third respectively. Thompson was exultant at the end of the race. Richard Torpedo Thompson! Great a lot, um, two reasons. One is my first time as a national 200 meter champion. And secondly, uh, coming into this meet, I really didn't know what to expect from Rondell Cerrillo and more so I didn't know what to expect from, from myself you know I've, I've done one 200 for the year and really it was not that impressive for 20.86 but um, I knew I would have my hands full for the 200 I was confident about the 100 yesterday even though I knew um, Bledman has been having a good season I knew once I ran the race that I was supposed to that I should win but um, Cerrillo has been having a great year and I just didn't know what to expect coming into this meet. After the semi-final, however, I was very confident that I could win the final because I ran 20.64 and it just felt extremely easy. So I'm pleased with the run today, both in the semi-final and most in the final. So what was the plan to go out and run an aggressive bend and um, put it out of reach on the street? Well, that 200 is a strategic race and um, I knew once Cyril was in front of me, the idea was to just run up on him and Calendar going around the bend. And once I had done that, I was able to, in between 100 and 150, to just kind of turn it over and stride, relax a bit. And it, it, it left me with energy for the final, so for the final 50. So um, that was the strategy going into the race and I executed it the way I wanted to. Kellyanne Batiste crushed her rivals in the women's 100 meters final. The Florida-based sprinter bolted to victory in a fast 10.98 seconds, leaving Seymour Hackett and Ayana Hutchinson to battle for second spot. Hackett clocked 11.27 to secure silver, while Hutchinson bagged the bronze in 11.37. Three weeks earlier in Florida, Batista clocked 10.84 seconds, the third fastest time recorded by a woman in 2010. She closed off the season with double gold at the Continental Cup in Croatia. Competing for the Americas team, Batista won the century in 11.05 and anchored the sprint relay quarter to victory in 43.07. The women led the way for Team TNT in track and field at the CSE Games in Puerto Rico. Nine of the 12 medals earned went to the ladies, including three gold. Alicia Barber won the 100 meters hurdles, Cleopatra Borel Brown topped the shot put, and Aronda Watkins emerged victorious in the long jump with a games record 6.67 meters leap. The other gold for TNT was claimed by the men's sprint relay team. Ronald Cirillo, Mark Burns, Emmanuel Callender, and Kesten Bledman. The TNT Quartet established a new games record, 38.24 seconds. Track and Field was responsible for three of the six medals earned by Trinidad and Tobago at the 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi, India. Ayana Alexander snapped up silver in the women's triple jump. Cleopatra Borel Brown, the TNT flag bearer at the opening ceremony, also earned the silver, 
The powerful athlete throwing the iron ball 19.03 meters. The impressive Commonwealth Games performance capped off a superb season. Burrell Brown bettering 19 meters in each of her last four 2010 outings. The men's 100 meters final featured two TNT sprinters, Aaron Armstrong and Emmanuel Callender. Armstrong got the better of Calendar, clocking 10.24 seconds to bag bronze for Trinidad and Tobago. His third place finish turning an ordinary season into a memorable one for the US-based sprinter.